we think of picking up our crosses, you know, it's, it's hard and it is. It is hard. I make a lot of choices that other people don't make, mm -hmm. you know, and we do a lot of things that, you know, the, the, the world would think's okay. Yeah. And it, it, I'm not here to say it is or isn't okay, but it's not for me. Yes. It's not okay for me. It's yeah. not for what God wants me to do. Yeah. You know, so I think that's, that's kind of the key is you have to decide, is this what God wants for me? It can be very easy to hear this about the denial of the flesh, taking up your cross and all those things. And go too far. And go too far. Yes. Where you're actually um, being abusive toward yourself or yes. allowing other That's people correct. to take right. advantage it's of you. and being self-denial. That's right. Yeah. So what is the balance where we make sure that yes, we are living in a way that is uh, taking up our cross and honoring God with our lives. And of course that's going to mean, mean denying the flesh in certain occasions, but not going so far where we are literally putting ourselves in either emotionally or physically <laughs> um, abusive situations yeah. and calling that being spiritual. I probably wrestle with the justification. Is this my right? I think yeah. we all mm -hmm. would do that. But we have to protect, you know, our heart. Yeah. Because it's the things that we put in our heart. You know, the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. And it's how we approach life many times is it's the attitudes of the heart, the unforgiveness of the heart, the I want to be right attitudes. Mm. I'm better than you attitude. I don't need to, you know, take what you're giving me. I think when we, when we, we, we begin to start thinking about what we're thinking about and what we're dwelling on and what we're allowing to go into us yeah. has a lot to do with what's going to come out of us and how we feel justified about things. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I, I have a real fear of God. I mean, I, I have a healthy yeah. fear of God. So when I do things that I know aren't pleasing to God, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like, okay, God, I am so sorry because <laughs> I know okay, that's not mercy. gonna come out right. That's yeah. not gonna serve right. yeah. me or anyone else, right. Right. you know? And so I'll go back and I'll repent, you know? Yeah. But I think, I think having a, 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 a healthy perspective of God and what pleases God is huge as well. But I've just found out that the, I am better when I'm guarding my heart, when I'm guarding my thoughts, when I'm staying on it. That's something that I try to work on a lot is like, yeah. I'm not thinking all these thoughts at the same time that I'm facing this difficulty. You know, mm -hmm. I'm trying to rectify it in my mind. Now, that's not right. Can't do that. That's not gonna serve you, you know. And I'm just trying to guard my heart so that I don't just spill out of my mouth yeah. or act out of my flesh or, you yeah. know, so I, I think that's a real key in getting, take, picking yeah. up your cross every day. It's an everyday thing. Like, wow, that thought's not really pleasing to God. And that wouldn't be something that I should yeah. really be moving towards, you know. So that's kind of how I try to temper myself. Not that I am at all perfect. I, I definitely go and mm -hmm. repent all the time. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. think that's one of the things that I really try to do every day is just to guard what I allow in what I, the thoughts I allow, the, uh, the for, you know, being forgiveness, well, bitterness. Well, I think mm -hmm. taking up your cross is also taking up his humility and his right. love and his that's, grace towards other say, and yeah. his peace and his, so all the characteristics of what Jesus, right. who he was. In Ephesians chapter one, I mean, and I just recommend that someone listening today just read through yes, Ephesians absolutely. one and two. If you need to hold yourself in correct view, you need to understand how God views you. And so totally. in Ephesians chapter one, you're blessed, you're chosen, you're adopted, you're yeah. beloved, you're redeemed, you're forgiven. The grace that he has offered is lavish. It's not just given, it's lavished right. upon you. You know the mysteries of God. He tells you secrets. You are possessed by God. And then when you get into chapter two, God, verse four, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when you were dead. So even when you were messed up, he made you alive together with Christ. The, the grace that you've been given to be saved and even to know the power of the Holy Spirit, it is the gift of God. Why? Because you're his workmanship right. created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that you would walk in them. So that means that taking up your cross is this job that's given to this blessed, loved, mm. covered, doted on, wonderful yes. daughter of God. And then what he's given to you are works prepared beforehand. So how do you know? 
what God wants you to do, you should ask him because you're his right. daughter. Right. So you know the difference by knowing his word. What does he say about you? Right. Um, by knowing his word because then the Holy Spirit has something to convict you with so you know to do this or to do that. And then every opportunity to serve, even to deny yourself, um, even before you open your mouth and what do you say? It's Father, you love me, you care for me. I am seated with you in heavenly places and spaces and you are working on my behalf all the time. What do you want me to do here? Right. Is this the place to stand? Is this the line? Is that the cross to carry? Is that the person to talk to? And I really believe, it, it goes back to what you were saying earlier this week, Victoria, that sometimes the only processing that we need to do is just prayer. Yeah. And if we would stop talking about it, thinking about it, writing in the pros and cons list, and none of those <laughs> things are bad. But if we would actually just ask our daddy, mm -hmm. what do you, is this what you want me to do? Because if it's what you want me to do, I'll carry it. Excuse if it's what, it's not something you want for me to do today, then I'm okay to give a, to give a solid no. Right. And that's really for me, I'm God's daughter too. Yeah. So is this what he wants me to lay my life on the line for? Or is this the thing that where he doesn't want me to cast my pearls before swine? Mm -hmm. I only know that when I ask him. Well, come on and preach the come word on. then. Yes. <laughs> you know, I love that you read that in Ephesians about the yes, good works so because yeah. we are God's workmanship. Yeah. Right. And we know that works are not gonna save us. It's right. a gift. But I believe that when we make the right choices and pick up our cross, we are working. Mm -hmm. We are, those good works are working in us. That's yes. right. That's and right. so that's how we're going to walk into the good things mm -hmm. that God has for us. So all of our good works, although sometimes hard, sometimes difficult, mm -hmm. sometimes painful even, you know, we feel like, well, that's not right, or I should be able to do that, or, you know, they're working in us. Yeah. It's making a difference within us because we're God's workmanship. And that's what I always have to remind myself is, this isn't fun, but it's working in me. Mm -hmm. It's working something in me. And the more I or work something it in out me, of you. <laughs> the more I work <laughs> it in me, it's gonna get me to those places yeah. that God yes. has for me, yeah. right. you know, because it's already been prepared but I have to work, it has to work in me to get me to those prepared places. And so mm -hmm. anyway, I, did, I think sometimes, you know, we think of picking up our crosses, you know, it's, it's hard and it is, it is hard. I make a lot of choices that other people don't make, mm -hmm. you know, and we do a lot of things that, you know, the, the, the world would think's okay. Yeah. And it, it, I'm not here to say it is or isn't okay, but it's not for me. Yes. It's not okay for me. It's yeah. not for what God wants me to do. Yeah. You know, so I think that's that's kind of the key is you have to decide, is this what God wants for me? Right. You know, are these the good works he's prepared for right. me in advance? I so. was watching this documentary um, where a film director was being interviewed about the many people that he had directed their music videos and their commercials or films. And he was describing a music video that he directed for the song Billie Jean, Michael Jackson's <laughs> song Billie Jean. He's directing this. And he said that he recall so clearly um, watching this genius dance artist dancing all around the place and, and you know preparing for this music video. But he and the other people that were on the cast had gone into the set where this was gonna be filmed and they'd put lights on the walkway where Michael Jackson would be dancing during this video. They had put lights under certain squares that were on this pathway. And so he said one of the hardest things he's ever had to do is go to this uh, musical genius and basically say to him, hey, you know, you're great with all that dancing, but we're gonna need you to rein some of that in and actually just step on the squares where we have gone before you and pre-lit the path. Mm. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing all this dancing and exerting all this energy, but the path is not gonna light up. Mm. Mm. And I thought, God, that is exactly what has happened. Our father has gone beforehand to, to light up our path. He's already prepared beforehand yeah. good works that we should walk in them. Right. Yeah. Then the task becomes saying, okay, Lord, mm -hmm. even when I have to deny myself some of what I would prefer to do, or maybe I have the gifts and the talents to do, right. but you're asking me to step on a specific square in this specific season, mm -hmm. give me enough clarity by your Holy Spirit and enough restraint mm -hmm. by your spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only the spirit sometimes can give us enough self-discipline to restrain ourselves right. so that we can step on the squares that have been prepared beforehand because what we're looking for is the lighting up of God's favor and his blessing and his right. grace and his peace and his goodness. Right. God forbid we do all the stuff by the flesh and it looked flashy, yeah. but mm -hmm. our path not actually light up right. 
right. with the favor of God and God's blessing on us. Because nobody life. can see you unless you step into the light. Step mm. into the light. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.